you can claim your Fifth Amendment right, but you can't also make a statement. She waived that right. She's going to come here. Now, she says she'll be glad to come up to Capitol Hill if we'll give her immunity, but we're not interested in giving her immunity. She may have to pay some consequences for what she did or did not do. That is Jason Chaffetz, congressman from Utah, talking about Lois Lerner, who may find herself in the hot seat yet again. Uh, we told you House Republicans want the face of the IRS scandal back to testify next week, next Wednesday. But her attorney says she will not come back unless a court compels her or she is given immunity. Uh, Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy sits on the Oversight Committee. Sir, how are you? Good morning to you I'm from great. the Hill. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm just trying to figure out next Wednesday if she shows and she sits down and you ask her a question and she takes the fifth and it's a repeat of what happened last May. That's possible. Will it happen? Uh, well, it can happen. Um, and if that happens, then we're going to have to evaluate whether or not to hold her in contempt of Congress, which could include a, a visit from the Capitol Police and, uh, and being incarcerated. Uh, what is more likely to happen, I think, um, is her attorney is going to do what he should have done months ago, which is write out a proffer bill, write out for us what she would testify to. It's not going to be used against her, but it's not immunity. We're never giving her immunity. And, and when he asks ask for it, he, he, he comes across as someone who hasn't been to law school. We're not giving her immunity, period. What, what now, does it, wants, I apologize for the interruption here, but if she's asking for immunity, what would that suggest then? Well, that she's guilty and that we should buy a used car over the telephone. Uh, nobody does that. We don't know what she's done. So why would you give someone immunity when you have no idea what criminal conduct they've engaged in? I don't know if she killed John Benet Ramsey. So why would we give someone immunity when we have no idea what criminal conduct they've engaged in? You write out a proffer, the prosecutors evaluate it, and then we decide whether we would rather have you as a defendant or a witness. And right now, I'd rather have her mm. as a defendant because I don't think she has any credibility. Uh, so no on the immunity issue. What about going to a federal uh, court uh, to uh, compel uh, her? Will you do that? Sure, and then your grandson can ask my grandson how the investigation's going on because that's going to take forever. I mean, if we go to an Article Three court and ask them to find that she waived her Fifth Amendment fr privilege, the, the, the president's going to be back in Hawaii and you and I are going to be doing something else for a living. We need something done in this investigation now. It'd be great if the Department of Justice did what they're supposed to do. Jason Chaffetz should not be talking about immunity with you. The Department of Justice should. Mm. But they won't do their job, so we're going to have to do it for them, bring her back, and hopefully, under a proffer, she will tell us what she knows about this investigation. Well, and then clearly, we'll negotiate. Yeah, the, the way you're talking suggests that she's hiding something. Or perhaps she's, she's hiding a lot. What do you think she knows? Uh, well, she was the head of the exempt um, entity, part of the IRS. Uh, she's the author of the email that we're going to discuss something off plan. She's the one who initially apologized. Remember that at that boring ABA conference where they leaked this apology. I think she connects this scandal all the way to Washington and she's holding out for a better deal. But it's not going to be immunity until we know what your testimony would be. And you can't sit there and say you have done nothing wrong and nothing illegal and then hide behind the Fifth Amendment and expect us to give you immunity. So that I, is not going again, to happen. I'm, I'm just trying to what happens next week then? What do you believe she on comes. Wednesday morning? What happens? She comes. She invokes her Fifth Amendment privilege. Daryl Issa either elects to hold her in contempt of Congress or her lawyer smartens up and says, let's go in the back and discuss a resolution to this. Those are the two things that can happen. Um, where does it go after Lois Lerner, do you think? I, you know, Bill, I, I hope the Department of Justice at some point takes this investigation seriously, because as you know, I can't prosecute Lois Lerner. I can't indict her. I can't put her in prison. Only the executive branch can do that. And the president of his Super Bowl interview said there's not a smidgen of corruption. So if the DOJ is not going to do their job criminally, we're going to have to do our job oversight. But Congress cannot prosecute her. We can't indict her and we can't put her in jail except for contempt of Congress for not talking. One more point here from yesterday's hearing on whether or not anybody's been fired. Watch. Listen. 
How many in the department have been reprimanded or terminated as a result of that latest scandal of scrutiny of various organizations? Uh, that process is still, uh, there's a review board. Uh, the leadership from the top on down is all gone uh, at this point. Uh, and uh, several of the uh, people are no longer at the IRS. Uh, I take it it's zero. Do you have yeah, I, other yeah, information I, I think, on that? I think all of that is Latin for zero. Not a single person has involuntarily lost his or her job, despite 12 months of investigation and admitted wrongdoing, no one has been fired. March 5th is the date next Wednesday. Sir, thank you. Trey Gowding, yes, Republican sir. from South Carolina.